okay this okay hi this is our shiny scm volumetric dozer first we switch on our main main power as you can see you can see this one is in chinese so you need to convert this to into uh, into english you press this one the middle button okay this one is in turkish again you press this one again english the button from the right uh from the left this one is the on off switch this uh, button this one is the menu button in the middle is the setting button and then this one is the uh, down button this one is the up button so now we go into the parameter by pressing this one the menu button you can see this one process recipe this one you can choose the recipe that you want to use so like this one this one is two so you can change it to whatever recipe you want if you want to change the recipe you need to press this one the middle button maybe you want to use the recipe three okay you press this one and then you confirm by pressing the menu button now this one you are using the recipe tree so now we go to the next recipe this one we call it as the setting recipe we this one is is the recipe that uh, we want to change the parameter so let's say if you change uh, if you set this one the two meaning that the parameter you are going to change is the parameter two so let's say okay sorry press again okay now we go to the next melting time so this one start from this one if you want to change the recipe that means this one the recipe it changed is two the recipe want to change it to according to this one according to this one setting recipe so this one is the um, melting time you can choose the time from 0 0.1 second until 999.9 second so we press we go to the next parameter the weight per mole this one means the, the range uh, the 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 weight of the mold now you, you can uh, maximum is you can change until maximum is 1000 gram now this one is the hopper one ratio you can change change up to 99.99 percent h1 is the 50 second weight again this one is the small number this one means that uh, you can change the weight per mole uh, either to uh, 3000 uh, place value or 1000 place value or 100 place value so let's say if I want to change this one okay, sorry so if I want to change if you say you want to change to one confirm you go this one you will see your weight per mole is changed to 100 gram not 1000 okay well this one is the dispense dispensing cycle this one means that uh, when you receive the signal from the molding machine each time then the doser will dose the material if you change to two means that this one doser will dose for every two cycle for every two cycle means that it 
he received the signal from the molding machine. This one is a control type. Usually we choose zero. This one is the mo motor failure range. Usually we choose low. This one is the output. This one, since we have only one doser, so we choose one. If you have two doser, then you choose two. Okay. The oh. Okay, now we will show you how to perform the 50 second testing. You see this one? Hopper 1 50 second wait. You press this one, the middle button. Press long enough until it appears this one. Number one filling. So you, first you need to put the material inside. And then open this one. Pull it out. You must re remember that this one is a uh, screw. The auger or the screw, whatever you call. This one is still empty. So you need to fill it up by pressing this one. You see this one? You see this one is stuck to rotate and then the material will come, come out there you see you need to make sure the screw or the auger is full of material after that you can press this one After the screw is full of material, you can press this one to stop the filling process. You can, now you can see this one. 50 seconds. And then you press this one. And then you need to take a container. Take a container. Now you take the end container, you take the material that coming from the dropping from this one to screw. You press this one. Collect the material until it becomes zero. Okay, you can see this one, okay? Then you wait this one, the material. So let's say the if the weight is 500 gram, then you... Uh, it's 50... Uh, it's 50 gram. Then you input the gram, 50 gram. Okay, confirm. Our SCM can receive the signal from either injection molding or the, or the extrusion. You see, one, two, if you connect the one, two pin could together, this one, the PCB is in injector mode. If you insert it into, uh, insert, um, no, if you connect two, two, three pin together, this one is in extruder. 
so like this one this one you ins uh, you connect one one pin and two pin so if you change this one this one you connect to two to three you see one two three the pin this one mean that you are connect pin two and, and three together So if you change the pin, uh, if you connect the pin two and three, this one is in extruder. I may have, I give you just one yuan. So if you connect the pin one and two, this one is in the injector. This one means the is in in the injection molding. 